Dear brethren and friends, Wakeman here. I've never witnessed so much disinformation and false teachers like nowadays. The great falling away and boasters of self-love, just as 2 Timothy 3, 2, forewarned us. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. The Bible story of the last days is the story of how, according to God's plan, in Christ Jesus, sent the Holy Spirit to combat, for a certain period of time the influence of Satan, the first narcissist. Narcissists hate the Holy Spirit. Because people who became born again in Jesus Christ, and sealed by the Holy Spirit, had the love of the truth, and can see through their gaslight and agenda. Was Jesus Christ a malignant narcissist? Illegitimate and adopted children, especially of humble origins, often develop narcissistic defenses to fend off persistent feelings of inadequacy and inferiority. And what about the, the people? Narcissists like to present themselves as popular heroes, heroes of the nation, heroes of the people. What about the mob? What about the multitude? What about the people? Did they love Jesus? We found out that they didn't. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. I mean, Bonnie, there's a wild mambo, there's a hunk of chunk. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders said he saved others himself he cannot save. The thieves also which were crucified with him left and right cast the same in his teeth. Not a very popular figure. This is the end, the typical end of every narcissist, reviled, mocked, or worse. Till that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Therefore, people who became born again in Jesus Christ, and sealed by the Holy Spirit, will never be a supply for the first narcissist, and his minions. The Holy Spirit lifts our eyes, and hearts, to Christ. And that is why a narcissist so despises the role of the Spirit. Satan and his minions want to promote idolatry towards the image of the narcissist, his deception, temptations, and gaslight. If you want to obliterate narcissists in your life, consider becoming born again in Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, and changing your focus to Christ, and not on the idolatry of the narcissistic beast system. Then we would find our hearts drawn to Christ. This is the goal of the Spirit, as well as the great fear of the enemy. God bless you. Please remember, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life.